It's not what you buy. It's when you buy it, under what conditions, and at what prices. So, the key to investing is not buying good things, it's buying things well. You have to understand the difference between a bueno and bien. Most investors behave pro-cyclically. They follow the cycle rather than anti-cyclical, as I will describe. And it's essential, in my opinion, to behave counter-cyclically. The cyclical ups and downs do not go on forever. Usually, if they feel like they will. They feel like there's either a virtuous circle that will make things go well forever, or a harmful circle that will make them go badly forever. But usually, that's not the case. Usually, we have ups and downs. And 45 years ago, somebody did me the favor of explaining to me, gave me the, the greatest gift, the greatest regal, the three stages of the bull market. And if you understand this, you're almost ready to become a professional. The first stage, when only a few exceptionally bright people understand that there could be improvement. The second stage, when most people understand that improvement is actually taking place. And the third stage, when everybody believes that things will get better forever. So if you buy in the first stage, when most people don't see a better future, when there's very little optimism, included in asset prices, you get a bargain, and you can make a lot of money. If you, do it in, if you buy in the second stage, when everybody understands that improvement is taking place, you don't get a bargain, you do okay, you follow the cycle, you buy in at a fair level. But if you buy in the third stage, when everybody thinks things will get better forever, and when asset prices reflect a great deal of optimism, you pay high prices, which set you up for substantial losses. So it, 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 the interesting thing about investing is it's not what you do, it's when you do it. It's not what you buy, it's when you buy it, under what conditions, and at what prices. So the key to investing is not buying good things, it's buying things well. You have to understand the difference between a bueno and bien. And it's buying bien that makes for success. When I started at Citibank, which was uh, uh, 50 years ago this month, the bank bought the stocks of what were called the Nifty 50, the 50 best and fastest growing companies in America. Companies that were so terrific that it didn't matter what price you paid. That was the official theory. And they were selling at very high prices because they were such wonderful companies. And if you came in and you held them for five years, my first five years in the business, you lost almost all your money investing in the best companies in America. So buying high quality assets is not the key because they were buying in the third stage. The key is to understand where you are and to buy assets in the first stage and be careful in the third stage. That's a big part of today's message. So it's important to practice what is called contrarian behavior and to do the opposite of what others do at the extremes because the others are primarily wrong. Uh, and uh, there's a belief that things are safe when things are going well. Actually, that's the riskiest thing. The riskiest thing in the world is the belief that there's no risk, since this makes prices very high and sets the stage for bad experiences. We must sell when others are buying most aggressively and buy when they're selling most aggressively. And Buffett says it great as usual. He says, the less prudence with which others conduct their affairs, the greater the prudence with which we must conduct our own affairs.